Merry Christmas, and welcome to the Christmas Eve service of the First Presbyterian Church in Woodbridge, New Jersey. We are so glad that you are worshiping with us this, this evening, and I do remind all of you, if you want to light candles at the end of the service, if you haven't found one yet, please find one. Let us begin our worship with our prelude. Thank you. 
us pray. Holy One, you have appeared in, in the flesh, bringing redemption to all. Your glory is made known in this newborn child, this living, blessed hope. Tonight, we sing a new song, a song of justice, righteousness, and endless peace. Gift of God, beautiful Christ child, we welcome you. Let love be born anew in our hearts on this joyous night. Amen. this moment that I want to call the attention of the children. Every year I am blessed to be able to do a children's chat and I kept thinking what shall I do? I know all our little ones are very very excited and just can't wait till tomorrow morning but tonight we're going to take a few minutes and just think about what Christmas is. Being a teacher I know a lot that Sometimes putting things as songs help to remember things. I know you all learn songs for learning your ABCs. I know you all learn songs for learning multiplication facts. I know that you know all your little rhymes for learning how to spell. Well, tonight we're going to spell crisps. Now I want to give you a little background on this. When I was a little girl back in the ancient time, my grandmother used to love Perry Como. And it wasn't Christmas unless we heard Perry Como singing. One of the songs he sang was How to Spell Christmas. And tonight, I want to share that with you. So our first letter, C. C stands for the Christ child born on this day. H is for the herald angels who sang in the night announcing his birth. R means he is our redeemer. He has come to save. I means Israel, the place of his birth, as it was foretold. S 
for the star that shone so bright in that dark, dark night. She is for three wise men. They traveled far. M for the manger where he lay that night. A is for all he stands for. S means shepherd came. And that, my little ones, is how you spell Christmas. So tonight, as you eagerly wait, and I know that for many of us, we may not be with all our loved ones due to other circumstances. But let us always remember, my friends, Christmas is not just December 25th. For Christ the child who came upon this night is with us always. So have Christmas whenever you're together. Have a lovely evening, my friends. My loved ones, sleep well, and I hope you get everything you wish for. Thank you, Marilyn. I have to say that in my house, too, it was not Christmas un until Perry Como um, sang. Let us pray. Holy God, we see your light shining in the darkness. We hear the Christmas angels. We behold your promises fulfilled in the birth of this wondrous child. May this story become real in our lives. Amen. The scripture this evening comes from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were, while they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find the child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherd said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, 
which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all, all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. May God add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of God's holy word. Well, here we are. Another Christmas Eve, another Christmas Eve online. This one, I don't know about you, but for me, this one feels harder than last year's because we were hoping for so much more. We hoped for in-person worship. We hoped for large festive gatherings with friends and family. We hoped to put this pandemic in the rear view mirror, and yet the pandemic had other plans. And yet, Christmas is here. With the coming of the Christ child into our world one more time, hope enters our world and our hearts. This year, more than most years, I believe that we need hope to be reborn into our hearts on this night more than ever. These past two years have been so hard. There were so many twists and turns. There are so many people who are no longer with us. There is so much heartache and uncertainty. And yet, in the middle of all of this, hope is born once more this night. Remember that Emmanuel means God with us. And this, and at Christmas, we celebrate the incarnate God, the God with us, who came down to earth to live with us and be one of us. That is the choice that God made because divine love is so great. God loves us so much that God sent us the best Christmas present ever, everlasting life. Yes, this Christmas is not the one for which we hoped and waited and planned. But it is Christmas and Christmas Eve nonetheless. Look around and see all the love, see all the care, see all the hope and the joy. All of those things are here. Even this year, we may just have to look a bit harder. Open your hearts and let the hope that is this night in. And then share that hope and that light with all the world. Alleluia, Christ is born. It is Christmas. Let us share the joy and the hope that is ours this night and always. Amen. Merry Christmas.
I invite you, hopefully printed out the bulletin, I invite you to join in our Christmas affirmation of faith. We believe that God has come to us as a little child, making our weakness his strength, securing our salvation by becoming one of us, blessing us with a steadfast faith, Savior, filling our hearts with joy to be shared with one another. We believe that God has birthed righteousness and justice into the world, giving us a law that will be written upon our hearts, making the cause of the oppressed the highest priority, declaring an everlasting reign of peace defeating the power of pain and suffering. We believe that God calls us to participate in this reality of love, inviting us to proclaim Christ's resurrection at the table, transforming us as disciples to go out into the world, sending us forth to announce his kingdom of peace and comfort challenging us to see everyone as nothing less than beloved children. This we believe, this we preach, this we seek to embody in word and deed. Amen. Let us join our hearts together in prayer. Heaven sings. Sing of creation and life. Sing of love and light. Earth sings. Join the chorus. Tell the story of salvation. Let all welcome the Messiah. Sun and moon proclaim the message of divine light and love. Ocean waves tell of life-giving water. Forests rustle with spirit-filled wind. Field and vineyard give fruit for a heavenly feast. All peoples marvel at what they see and hear. Join with all creation in praise. Sing of God's deeds of power and grace. For Jesus Christ is born this day, the one who was foretold by the prophets and promised in ages past, the one who would triumph over 
death and bring us life, the one who would forgive our sin and heal our wounds, the one who would show us the kingdom of God and how we might live, born to set us free, born to give us new life, born as a gift. Heaven sings and earth rejoices, Christ is born. Holy God, we thank you for this night. We thank you for the hope that you birth in our hearts this evening. May we share that hope and joy and peace and love each and every day. May our Christmas celebrate you, even while things may not be happening as we had planned. We know that Christmas is here because you are with us. May our hearts always share your love and your peace with our entire world. And we pray this all, this prayer, as we pray together the words that our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed by, be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. On this night of nights, let us give to God the gift of our faithfulness and love. I will remind you that you can mail in your offering or your Christmas offering. You can drive by and drop it in the mailbox, or you may give online. Yonder grace and 
Let us together pray our prayer of dedication. Blessed Lord, you have given us your greatest gift, your very word come to earth to live with us and through us. You have filled us with your grace and truth, your holy child sent to free us from our bonds. How can we repay such divine generosity? Receive our thanks and praise as you have given to us. So now we share your gifts and your grace with a world in need. May this offering help bring your light and love to those who still wander in darkness. Amen. We will sing verses 1 and 2 of Of the Father's Love Begotten.
hear these words from the Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. I invite you to find your candle and to light it. This is the light of the world, Jesus Christ. Come to us, the light that shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot ever overcome it. Carl, I'm going to make a change. Can we sing three verses of Silent Night? Because I can't pick one, pick just two. So we will sing the first three verses of Silent Night.
I invite you to blow out your candle, but keep the light shining in your heart. And now, go, ready to celebrate the birth of the Christ child. Let the alleluias ring from wherever we are tonight and this and tomorrow, but always in our hearts. May God, our creator, Jesus Christ, our redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, which is our inspiration, be with us all this day, this night, and all our days to come. Amen and Merry Christmas.